All right, so I bought this 2005 Sequoia after my black one over there's frame buckled. Um, so much like uh, everybody else, this thing has all of the Christmas tree lights on on the dash, and everybody's always freaking out about it. But did you guys realize that it's super simple to figure out what it is? They literally, just like a check engine light, you jumper that and that, and it'll shoot out a coat. And all I'd used was a paper clip, like you can see there. So you jumper that, okay, and then you turn on the dashboard, okay? So after a second or two, you'll see lights will go off, and then it's just gonna start blinking. So you see Cruise is blinking fast. Uh, the airbag over there is blinking fast, okay? Um, and basically, if it's blinking fast, that means that it all checks out, it's fine. If you notice, my brake light is actually flashing a number, okay? Well, that's what the ABS, the VSC, and track is all supposed to do. Those are supposed to be blinking. If everything's okay, it's supposed to be blinking just as fast as the cruise is there. Because it's not, though, that means that the entire ECU is bad. The ABS ECU, which reads all those codes, is this black box here that is bolted to the back of it. If it, those are solid, it's this ECU that's bad. So you have to get a new ECU. Luckily, it was good on my other truck. So I'm gonna take that off, install it on here. I'm going to clear the codes, which that's also easy to do inside there. And hopefully that'll make all my lights turn off. And there it is, off the other one. So it's a little bit of a pain. You have these little plugs, this guy here that's really long. What you end up having to do is, it says you can crack all these loose. You have to re-bleed the brakes. That's a pain. Um, what I ended up doing was I took the 10 millimeter out there. I took the 10 millimeter out there so that these lines will move a bit. I then basically pushed these out of the way about a quarter of an inch or so. I mean, you, you're bending them out of the way, you're lifting, you know, but I got them to get out of the way far enough to where I could barely slide it out. They say it's really important not to make any of this dirty. You don't want to clean it up with any solvent. If you can help it, you just do it the way it is, put it in. That's what we're going to try. Figure I should, figure I should show you this. So these uh, bolts here, they're little hex guys. If you don't have the hex guys with you, wow, that's hard. Yeah. Um, as it turns out, a four millimeter um, little socket will fit on it. But to show you what you did, so you gotta push a button, pull that little orange guy off, and then it just pulls off when you lift that lever up. This is what I was talking about when I said it's very close. And I already kind of pulled it out, so it's hard. You don't want to pry on this. You don't want to do anything. You got all these little bars there. And then you'll see, I barely, after I bent that out, barely had enough room to pull that out. And then all we're gonna do is just slide the other one in, put the bolts back in. All right, now, back on. Now, I have no idea. We're gonna do it together. I'm gonna go, and uh, I don't know if I have to clear the codes or if I turn that key on, and they're just good. So, remember you jump those, still got that done. Let's see what happens when I just turn it on. So, there's it on. Look at that. Okay. ABS, VSC is flashing nice and fast. Brake, nice and fast. Cruise. Everything, the SRS light and, I mean, yeah, my TPMS sensors. But that seems to look like that worked, didn't it? Now... Um, the nice thing is the same way to read them you, is the same pin to clear them. And all you are going to do is, so you turn it off, turn it back onto the on position. Uh, you don't start it. And then you have to pump the brake pedal eight times within five seconds. When you do that, everything should be flashing that way. I'm going to do it anyway, just because it had codes in it. Um, 
obviously you can do it with a tester, but yeah, no, I'm doing it with paperclip. So, uh, yeah, it's that simple, but that seemed to fix everything. You can buy those used. Simple fix.